Player, a D&D play podcast set in the homebrewed world of Jekyll. We've got two DMs for some reason, which can only mean twice the fun. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your time at... Theater of the Mind Flip! <laughs> Spicy binky in the my twinkie. spanky edition. Yeah, why not? We're all going to take a big spank. Uh, this is what I sound like when I get spanked. Mm-hmm. Caleb, what do you sound like when you're spanked? <laughs> Luke? <laughs> Michael? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got Jacob. Got him. <laughs> Danielle. Ow. Is that correct? Her- Hercules. Harder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jacob, that's Caleb Daddle. Hello. Last recording for the night. We're very silly. Wait, did spank Jacob. Very excited. I did mine first. Oh, did. first. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Lost track for all the spank. spank yourself. Yeah, I do. I do genuinely. When I'm walking the dog and I want him to follow me, if like Danny's behind with him, I'll go. Come on. Slap myself on the ass for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, we're here. We're having fun. We're playing uh, D&Ds. Caleb's got a trivia treat, and then we're going to play uh, a fun little improv game taken straight from uh, England, where our good friend, uh, what's, what was their fucking name? Lester? Where Lester is from. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's um, Salisbury. What was it? Summers- Summersby. 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 Are you talking? That good like cider. That cider, yeah. There's a bash yeah, yeah. in there somewhere. Not yeah. ringing a bell. Anyway, no? give us a trivia treat. <laughs> Welcome to this week's episode of Trivia Treat. Oh, so tasty. Oh. What is the weave and who is considered its guardian? Oh, I know What's this. The weave? The what uh, is the weave? The weave is the ever flowing force of magic. Although I want to say it's more than canon, but I don't think it is. No, it's not. But you are right. What's it is, the second part of the question? It's the fabric who's, that who's of guardian? magic who's that guardian? basically weaves itself the force? through the multi multi Yeah. So all, all magic is technically like pulling from Ooh. the weaves. Is it Yoda. Elminster? No, it's not. It's not he's Elminster, just, he's it's just not a really canon. powerful wizard okay. more so than a... This is more even like... Oh, even higher. Yeah. Oh, the fucking god of magic, whatever their fucking name is. Yeah. The goddess of magic. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Saloon? No, that's no. the goddess of the moon. It's moon. Moon Saloon. Uh, oh, fuck. I... Goddess of magic. Uh, Hermione. Uh, can't remember. Mm. Hold on. <laughs> McGonagall. Her name is Maestra. 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 Yeah. The goddess of magic who Maestro. looks over the weave where all this magic is pulled from through the multiverse. Man, I should probably read the Dungeon Master's Guide. It's not. I've, <laughs> I've read it and I didn't know that one. I mean, there's so much there. I right? do this eight hours a day and I don't. <laughs> anyway, that was this week's episode of Trivia Treat. Oh, oh. Oh. So tasty. We're going to play a game. Uh, we're going to straight up play Would I Lie to You. Those of you that are fans of Would I Lie to You, uh, mm. the cast have written down a truth and I've written down a lie and uh, they are going to pick up uh, a card that I tell them to. They're going to read it out with as straight a face as possible and then we are going to ask them questions and see if we can determine whether they are lying or truthing. Uh, we are going to begin at the beginning with our good friend Hercules Mace. Mm-hmm. Hercules, can you pick up the card on your left, please, and read it out with a straight face, not letting anyone see the typography, and put it back down, face down. An iguana once bit off the tip of one of my body parts. <laughs> which body part was it? <laughs> which, which one? Yeah. Yes. Well, which which, which body, body part? part? My nose. He, he bit off the top of your nose. <laughs> the tip of my nose. The yeah. tip oh, of okay. your nose. Okay. I have a question. I'm seeing it in profile right now, and it is super right. nice and round. doesn't look like it was bitten off. Where did this happen? At at a family friend's place. And when? Like, what was how the old name of the you? family friend? How, how old were you? I would have been maybe about eight years old. What was the name of the family friend? Jan. What was the name of the iguana? Actually, I don't remember that one. You let an iguana get to third base with you and didn't understand. <laughs> you. At what, at I was eight. <laughs> under under what eight. circumstance did it bite your nose off? Like, uh, how, I got why? a little too close to its cage and it, and it bit yeah. my nose. And so I I was, was, did you have to have it reattached or did it, like, yeah, how, does your how, nose how grow back? What happened to Opta? Uh, I just had a big old horseshoe shaped scar on my nose for several years. Okay. Mm, interesting. So it didn't Very bite it off. It just like left an indent. Like when a shark no, bites like somebody the, like and the there's tip. just like this just, like the just scar. The what there color was, was the iguana? Green. 
Green iguana. Yeah, green with Seems like legit. Black, black bands <laughs> on it. <laughs> sort of a yellowy green. Were you like face in the cage or were you holding it? No, I was like face in the what cage. Was, what was the reaction of the, the, the parental uh, air group? Uh, my mom was freaking out. The family friend felt real bad about mm. it. Mm-hmm. What was the family friend's name? Jan. Okay. Okay. So what are we thinking, guys? Is this a truth or is this... I could do it. I think it's a truth. Is this a truth or is this a lie? I think it's a lie. I think it's a truth. I'm going truth. I think he did get bitten by the iguana and he probably had a scar on his nose for a long time. If you look with like front arm, like there's maybe a little bit here that could have been... So we're going... We're going live. Don't bite his nose, Danielle. Yeah, We're going live. live from Michael. Truth from Luke. Truth from Caleb. Like, Danielle. I feel like <laughs> true. <laughs> Hercules Mays. Was it true or was it a lie? It is true. Ah. Hey! Years, I had a horseshoe shaped scar oh, really? on my nose, but it's faded over well, the years. Very nicely. Uh, I'll take those. Uh, Michael, can you please pick up the card on your right? Uh, Luke, no looking. Hide the typography. The card on your right. I am not going to read it out as you look at it. As try not to pre-read it, because otherwise people will know whether you if you can read it Jesus. out loud. Michael, hold on. Okay, hold on. So no, this is a you've lie. Just given away. All right, it's, there's it's a, word a lie. I don't, I don't know what this word says. What does it say? <laughs> to always kiss my behind b i bicycle. Maybe. Do you want me to read this for you? Bikes. Mm. Do you Can you, you read it? <laughs> I always kiss my bike seat before I go on a ride. <laughs> All right, we're gonna skip Michael. We're gonna go straight <laughs> to <laughs> Luke. Is that readable? Yeah, that's readable. Uh, so Luke, I want you to pick up the one on your left, please. Take your time to read it, regardless of whether it's yours or someone else. I made a very embarrassing mess in my ex-partner's parents' house. Was the mess from your your body? No. What was it from? What was it from the mess? Uh, see, okay, so they asked me to put something in the attic. What was the something? It was Christmas decorations. So I went up and I was putting it up there, and obviously. Attics in the UK, they're not like fully fleshed out. Oh, this floor. was in the UK. Yeah. Huh? yeah. See, my ex partner before Emma was. In okay, the UK. right, yeah, right, yeah. right, right, right. Fair, fair. Um, and then, like, I stepped on the the soft part and went straight through with one foot. You broke through the drywall yeah. on the ceiling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was the reaction of everyone there? Well, this is where it gets embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this was above their dinner table as as they were setting up for dinner, so they were quite annoyed because yeah. they had I kind of ruined the the roast chicken that they had made. Yeah, what did they say? Did they have to make a new chicken then? Did no, you we ordered it in. Huh? We we ordered in for everybody. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. How old were you at this point? <laughs> well. Now that you ask, Jacob, I was 24. It was just before I moved to Canada. 24. Yeah. And how long? So you went with that partner for long? Not after that, no. Mm, okay. Okay. Any other questions from anyone was else? Was it because of the, the accident? That you, your relationship <laughs> That's what I want to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Two years of a relationship ended because of... No, no, it was not because of why. How long? I would have said that <laughs> if I was those parents, I would be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. My attic isn't safe. Really? Yeah. But they didn't? No. <laughs> they were... <laughs> no. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know what I believe. Me too. Yeah. So, uh, 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 can I get a pen, please? Did, did, uh, that one. Thank you very much. Uh, so, what are we going? I'm going to say lie. I'm going I lie. Think true. lie. I think big face lie. I think there's some elements of truth in there, but I don't think it's all the truth. Yeah. Other cards. Mm. Okay. So, we're thinking a lie. Luke, was it a true or was it a lie? It was a lie. Hey. None of it was true. <laughs> it was Jacob's one. I feel like the accidentally made a big mess and then going into specifics, just like, oh, yeah, I like kicked my foot through the ceiling. I feel like that would have been the lead in. Not, oh, I accidentally made a big mess. Danielle, if you could pick up the one on your uh, go right for me. Once during a play, I was left in my underwear for half an act. It was a school audience. What was the, what was the play? Uh, the play was Anne Boleyn. Why were you in your underwear? Uh, well, <laughs> there, was, there was an onstage costume change. And so I had like a corset and bloomers underneath. And uh, two of the other actors were meant to come on stage with the other dress. 
So it's like first dress, you know, unlacing, blah, blah, blah. Second dress is meant to come out. and <laughs> They just don't come out. Um, For 30 minutes. Th- well, they didn't come out. And the director was just like, OK, we're keeping on going. Keep going. Because it was like a... Like the a director or the, or the stage manager? Doesn't the stage manager normally call the shots behind the stage if that stuff's going on? Yeah, but the, it was like a it was a it was a dress rehearsal oh, in a, in a okay. black box theater. So okay. the director is like sitting in the okay okay right. in the audience with them. Right. Was it a good so house? She was just for a dress rehearsal. Well, it was it was a it was a dress rehearsal that was open to a high school. Trying to throw it off, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. So we had high schoolers how old are you audience uh i would have been 20 and what was the reaction high school of the production 20? crew I no, no. can we get some clarification for australian schools no no you, it was, you, i high was at university and, oh, your, your okay. and yeah. so the local yeah. high school gotcha. came in to watch so what, one of the dress what was the reaction of the backstage team and the director at the end were there repercussions to this yes what were what they? What were they? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> well, the two actors got chewed out and they lost marks for professionalism. She was like, what the fuck you were doing? What were you doing? And, and they What were, were like, they doing? They were on their phones. Hmm. For 30 minutes? No, they missed the queue and we kept going. So they were on their oh, phones. And they couldn't figure out how to slot back in. There. For the queue. What were the names of the other two actors? <laughs> I don't want to. Just for first name? Yeah. I don't want to. Okay. 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 So what are we well, thinking? I mean, are we thinking, are we thinking a truth I mean, if, or a okay, lie? If you've heard, if if you've heard this and you're fine. like those people, you know who you are. And I'm not throwing shade. It was it made a very funny anecdote. Uh, so it was um, Kendall and Joanna. Jenner. Okay. Well, I mean, Kendall could be a made up name because we have been watching Succession. So mm. I'm, I'm, call, I'm calling truth on this. I think the way she's telling it seems very... Uh, she's a very good actor confident <laughs> yes I feel like Danny she gets very I'm... flustered when she lies yeah so. and the pause yeah. at the start was way Danny, too long Danny, when she, to Danny can wait. act but she can't lie she, can't she lie. laughs too way too much <laughs> <laughs> she laughs way too much truth. so I'm gonna go truth, truth. yeah true truth on the world Danny uh, it was true it was yeah. 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 Uh, we're gonna go back to Michael Michael if you could pick up the card on the right hand side for me please <laughs> I injured a child trying to give out candy on Halloween. <laughs> okay. True. <laughs> <laughs> what was the child dressed as? I was dressed as like a no, no child. The child. child dressed as. was the child. Yeah, yeah, he was dressed as Batman. What were you? What were you, what you mean? Yeah, like child? I knew that you were injured as a child, or you? You said I was, as we asked what the child was. Yes. <laughs> no, I was injured as a child. I injured a child. Yes. yes. And you know, candy. Which is it? Yes. And the yes. child was dressed yes. as Batman. He's very okay. good at this. <laughs> what were okay. you dressed as? Oh, what was Bat- I dressed as? No, I, you originally said you <laughs> injured a child, and I said, was what it? was the child dressed as? And, and you said, as a child. Child. so was it as a child you injured a child, no. or you injured a child? I injured a child <laughs> trying to give out candy on Halloween. And you were a child as well? <laughs> no, I wasn't a child. How old were you? Okay, there we go. I was 19. <laughs> well, the you, first question was, what was the child dressed as? This yes. is the truth. And you said me. I, I was Batman. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 I said me. And then you said I was. And you, and you said I was Batman. Yeah. Yeah. You said, no, as a child, child was I Batman. was injured. Uh, yeah. The anyway. child was Batman. <laughs> okay. And how did you injure him? We were doing were like a scary as? thing. I was, okay, I was dressed as a scarecrow, but we were doing. Tell us. We were doing like uh, I was pretending to be a stuffed scarecrow. You weren't trying to be there. The Batman villain scarecrow? No. Well, because that's for the one trick or treater. <laughs> Finally, Batman has showed up to trick or treat. So you were you were dressed as scarecrow, pretending to be a scarecrow. And a I child had, like, comes up to you, and I had the bowl, and I was pretending to be like an inanimate scarecrow with right. a sign on the bowl saying like, oh, "Take one candy, please." Yeah. And then the child went in to take the when the child would go take the candy, I would go like, scare them. "Yeah, right." I would, so I'd scare them. Yeah. And so when I jumped up, there was with Batman with his grandmother. I think uh-huh. she was. And uh, what was she dressed as? No, she wasn't dressed up. You sure she wasn't like a teenage boy dressed as a grandma? <laughs> now that you mention it, <laughs> yeah. there were there were eyes like two peeking out the and trench coat. <laughs> yeah. And then when I scared him, the kid like freaked out and tripped over like uh, we had like rocks on the garden path. All right, tripped over the rocks into the and into the what, did the, what did the the mother the the child dressed as a grandma? Well, she was fine. Like she was like, oh, she like kind of laughed it off and helped the kid up, and okay. the kid was fine. Yeah. But. Did you say Batman wouldn't cry? <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> 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 what, what candy were you giving out? It was like the mixed bag. It was like uh, Kit Kats, O. Henry's, uh, the Arrow was the little mini ones. How were you like was carrying it? the candy? Huh? How was I carrying it? Yeah. I was, it was in a bucket, like a, like a, like a, like a jack-o'-lantern buckets. Mm-hmm. And I was just holding it and the kids would 
Reach okay. and grab it. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. What are we thinking? A uh, truth or a lie here, folks? I mean, he didn't know whether he was a child or. <laughs> no. he he's a great an actor as well. Like, there, was, there was a little bit of backpedaling at the beginning. I will say this: I think he's lying, but if he's telling the truth, you wouldn't I'll be surprised. Be, I'll, I'll be like impressed. Oh. Like, it, like I'll just be like, "Wow, I was actually really well played." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's possible. I'm saying it's possible, yeah. but it would be very impressive. Yeah. I think. I think if anyone's put the layer of of like. Adding the fumble to it, it'll be Michael. So, but I'm going, I'm going, false, false, lie, lie, Hercules. I'll say true, true, Luke. I think he did it on purpose. Uh huh. <laughs> so I think it's a lie that he accidentally hurt the. Did you go with kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So li- a lie on a technicality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Danielle, I think it's a lie. Michael? And it is a lie. Yeah. yeah. Did you actually, but did you, I know. I genuinely heard what was the child, child dressed as. Oh. And you said, I was. That's what I asked. That's what he asked. And you yeah. answered with, okay, I was. Well, I was. As, as a and then we said, yeah. no. What was the child but I was genuinely as? answering said, for the child. And then the you child, said, the as a child. Like you, you, like you thought it was as a No, because yeah. then I asked, as a child? Oh, I thought you. Well, were, that's what I was. I was clarifying, like as was as was I a child? Yeah. So I you thought did, you yeah. heard. I thought you heard that I read you, the you question pull, you, like when I was a child. I was when hurt, I child. was a young ward. He pulled it back well, though. I was kind of thinking, oh, maybe it's you know. <laughs> yeah. Caleb. Uh, Danielle, Danielle, can I have your card? Please? Caleb, so bad. This. Can, can you, everyone always thinks again, that I lie when I don't tell these? Okay. Well, we'll see. Uh, can you go ahead and pull the left card for me? I'm gonna have a big smile on my face, no matter what. Okay. Uh, okay. I have broken a man's tooth with a table tennis bat. Okay, so we know the how. Where and when did this happen? Uh, it happened in... A pub? No, <laughs> it happened on holidays. Which holiday? Uh, L- Lanzarote. I was in Lanzarote with my family. Also, it wasn't like a, like a date holiday. It was just a vacation? It was, yeah, it was a vacation with, with, my, with my family. When, when was this? How many, uh, brothers, how many of your brothers went? There's only one brother. So... Uh, I only have one brother and he was, this happened when I was 10. So he wasn't. I know more about him. Though. He wasn't born. <laughs> I know he's favorite. Where'd you get a baseball bat on vacation? So. No, it was a table, table, table tennis, tennis bat. bat. Trying to trip no, me up. Bat. It was a table tennis bat. Yeah. Uh, so which what, tooth did you break? Uh, I'm not sure which tooth Paddle. I broke off, off of his face, but it, I think it might've been like one of, one of these ones. And, and what, was, what, was, maybe? what was the reaction to the to the the loss of tooth, the breaking of tooth, like, from the guy. Yeah, he was very upset. He was very. He was like, ah, oh, my tooth. Ah. <laughs> but he, he, he didn't know stay fight, around nothing. long enough for huh? you to see which tooth you broke. Well, I was ten, right? Like it was a traumatic experience. I don't know which. How did you specifically break it? So he like was, it was with the. He was the tickling thing, me. But... And I had a table tennis bat. I don't and remember I, that being part of table tennis. And I, I, I whipped it into his face and I broke mode. his tooth. So a stranger was tickling a 10-year-old boy. Yes. Yes. Okay. And your parents were okay with this. So my parents weren't there. So <laughs> how did you, you come to be tickled a by a stranger? So, so there's lots of table tennis tables and like all the kids in the resort run around playing. And this guy, we were we was were playing, playing with all the children. Can I, yeah. Can I read that for a second? Yeah. When I was 10, I foiled, foiled a pedophile's attempt at kidnapping me. <laughs> right, okay. And, and he came up and he started tickling me and I had a table tennis bat and I was... He just came up and started tickling you? After we were playing together, table tennis. And then I was like, ah! And I were you enjoying him. the tickling? The fuck, hit him in the face. Fucked him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it's a poor choice of words. This is a different <laughs> memory. Were here. you enjoying the table tennis game? I was, yeah. I played a lot of table tennis yeah. on holidays. Did you enjoy the tickling more? Uh, no, I did not enjoy the tickling. Why I broke his, his tooth. So, what are we thinking? Are we thinking a truth or a lie? lie. I think it's a lie. I think it's lie. a truth because I think it's the truth. Truth, truth. Jacob, lie, lie. Has was trained in playing table tennis, and he would not refer to it as a bat. No, it was Caleb was referring to it as a bat. That's what I mean. That's yeah. why I think it's a truth. If Jake had written it as a lie, it would have said paddle rather than bat. Therefore, I think Caleb. Unless I've written a truth. really clever question. No, because, I think, say, no, because it was lie. racket, and then we said bat, and then he, it, lit. he when he read it out, it said bat. No, he said racket. He I said believe. bat. I feel like we're overthinking that part of it. <laughs> I think it's the truth. I think it's a lie. lie. I think I'm sticking a lie. True. Lie. Lie. True. 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 Caleb, was it true? It or was, was it true. Yeah. yeah. Hero. And I feel hard done by now. They got cheated out of an, an extra point because you would have said racket instead of bat. 
I wouldn't have said racket. I would no, have said paddle. Paddle, paddle, excuse me. That's what I mean. So many different words. Well, the table tennis bat. It works. Yeah. Anyway, what a fucking creep. He was actually tickling yeah. me. And I, yeah, I took my some... bat, backed it into his face, broke his tooth, and actually felt really bad about yeah. it because I was 10 okay. and this guy was like, Ooh. It's good. It's like, you know, you put like jingly things on cats so uh, so birds don't get eaten. Yeah. He's now got a whistly tooth no, so we'll, kids can I will tell say, there's a I think he, I think he was, I think he was just like, Herb- Is that Herb- 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 Yeah, exactly. Oh, we got to get you there, Caleb. Yeah. 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 Hey, nice, nice, nice paddle you got there, You want a popsicle? You want a pickle? Anyway, that was oh. the time I was <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> nearly kidnapped. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, uh, speaking of kidnapping, <laughs> uh, speaking of kidnapping, let's go back to the ship after Sephiroth has been kidnapped Aww. and play some D and D. Theater of the Mind Flare. In our last session, you came across a sunken shipwreck. What did they come across, Caleb? A sunken shipwreck. With a massive hole at its center, Edorath oh, big old booty hole. <laughs> decided to investigate. Edorath found some loot and a diary at the bottom, uh, while Force conversed with a strange, god-hating eel, or something that looked kind of Even similar to my an best eel. friend. Your new best friend. It actually offered to team up with Force to take down the gods. And Force, you were kind of contemplating it a, a little bit, but the conversation got interrupted when he realized that Edorath was stealing treasure from his horde, as he called it. A combat began. And, and another horde appeared. And as you fought, uh, Force, you were fighting some kind of skeleton crew while uh, Edorath was fighting off this eel. And as that happened, we had Elpin diving off the deck into the water <laughs> in his full armor. So that would be interesting. I feel like that was a, that was a DM wanting to get rid of this <laughs> NPC. He's going to sink to the bottom of the ocean now. He has a rope. He has a rope. Who's holding the rope? Who has the rope? You have the rope? Yeah. Did you say I has the rope? I has the rope. <laughs> I has get had. fucking pulled off. <laughs> well, we'll see if I, <laughs> yeah, we'll he see is. If I hold on to the yeah, rope. Yeah, he is. Uh, excellent. Let's see if Azeroth gets pulled off. Is that the end of the thing? Yeah, that's where we're going to start our <laughs> session now. I'm, I want to know. Does he oh, get pulled off? Okay, excellent. Uh, at the very top of the round, uh, Edorath, as you kind of look back at this thing swimming, uh, following you, whipping at you, looking up towards the, uh, the ship there, there is a dark figure that you see, and then a... Whoosh, what and pretty instantly fuck? you see um, Sir Alpen kind of sinking down to the length of the rope. Uh, as the rope gets to around 50 feet, uh, it pulls taut and uh, uh, and you would see... Uh, you would see Sir Alpen kind of look at you and give you like a little, like a little salute. Um, and he's kind of trying to swim his way up, but he's way too heavy. Uh, can you make a strength saving throw for me, um, uh, Azareth? Uh <laughs> Ten. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing you see right before your turn is <laughs> someone else flying off the top of the rail there. Uh, unless you wish to let go of the rope. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's an easy it. out. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. Let's go. Excellent. <laughs> Let's fucking go. We're, uh, we're over the shipwreck, right? Uh, excellent. Uh, can you go ahead and roll? Uh, I'll wait till the end of this round. Uh, Edrath, what would you like to do? Did you fucking see that? Yeah, I d- was that the, the, your, yours? Uh, unfortunately. Right. Step, step, step. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you cheeky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> You're having a real moment. <laughs> uh, 23. 23 hits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first level spell slots might. Nine points of piercing, mm-hmm. four points of radiant. Nine and four. Excellent. That first jab. Oh, you cheeky bastard. Uh, he's looking pretty hurt. Yep. Pretty pissed off, though. Yep. Second stab. That one's only an 11. The 11 does or not hit. 12. 12 does not hit. Yep. Then third one with my dodger. Uh, less. 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 Excellent. You slash out once. Poof, this radiant energy bursts through you. Uh, it kind of somewhat hisses at you. Uh, and it looks like it is, it is going to make one last attempt to just fuck you up. First thing I need is a wisdom saving throw from the two of you, please. God damn it. Uh, God damn it. Can you make a wisdom saving throw for Sir Alpen as well? Yes, I can. 16. 16 is a save. 12. Is a fail. Two points of psychic damage to Wait, Sir Alpen. Oh. I'm, I'm not at disadvantage, right? No, it's a straight no, roll. No, just a straight roll. 
Uh, wisdom. 8 plus 9 is 17. 17 is a save, so two points of psychic damage to Sir Alpin. Ah! My mind! Uh, that is going to bring us down to the creatures in front of you. Force, uh, once again, they are just going to swarm at you uh, for attacks uh, as they bite and scratch and scream. Uh, those are going to be shit. One of them's a nat 20, and one of them is a... Uh, nat 20 for a 26 and a 12 for an 18. Miss. Miss. Excellent. So as the natural 20 comes into you, uh, doing the big, that's the wrong dice. That's the right dice. Uh, as they come in, uh, that one comes in to do chompies at you. One, two, three. No, two. Just two. Dumbass. Uh, as it comes in to do chompies at you, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points of piercing damage as it sinks its teeth into you. Uh, it's the one that you've been jabbing. Uh, it is kind of focusing on you. The others are kind of seem a little laconic with their swipes and stuff. Indeed, with the creature further away, they don't seem to be. Some of them are getting a little bit distracted uh, from their intention, the inten- uh, why they were brought here. Uh, that is going to bring us down to the creature itself. Uh, the creature itself is going to look at you, Edorath, and say, fucking... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, you too. Asshole. It's going to make three tentacle attacks. Come into my house. Uh, one hot trash. Uh, one dirty 20, two dirty 20. Two dirty 20, you do me dirty. Two dirty 20... Two dirty, twenty, do you dirty. Do you are going to take uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 24 points of bludgeoning damage and cool. two con saves for me, please. As it lashes out with those tendrils. Oh, that's, the right. that's my notes up. Two motherfucker can't save, please. <laughs> 14. And the second con save? Th- 11. 11. Excellent. As this one rips into your skin, tears a little bit, this icker kind of seeps into your bodice. Uh, and <laughs> Oh no, my bodice. <laughs> no, not the bodice. Not my beautiful bodice. No, my beautiful your, bodice. Tears, <laughs> tears your bodice open, and <laughs> as it tears your bodice open, it just goes... <laughs> the lazy at the front. <laughs> Heaving bosom. It's, it's kind of your cravat. I mean, it's basically what he's wearing. You literally are wearing a bodice. I don't know why people are freaking out at me saying that. It tears your bodice. Uh, the skin underneath starts to turn a little icky, but for now, you don't feel anything wrong your with you. Your bodice is icky. Ugh. Your bodice is icky. Uh, that is going to bring us down to our good friend, Faust. Ah, fuck. Um, well, see you, friends. And then you're going to have to work out what happens now. I drink the potion of gaseous form. Okay, yeah, you wrap your lips around the posters of a gaseous form and look, 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 look. Uh, pretty quickly, molecularly, you start to split apart. And as you split apart, um, gaseous form, you immediately start to raise out of the ocean there. Uh, how long is your gaseous form for? One hour. One hour, beautiful. And you fart cloud. Move up to the top there, uh, out of reach of these creatures, and immediately begin to rise. Uh, I believe you have some movement as well as a fart cloud. Uh, yeah, 10 feet. <laughs> ten, ten, feet. 10 feet. So you, you just start to raise 10 feet by 10 feet by 10 feet. Uh, anything else you want to do? I don't think there is anything else I can do. Can Excellent. I take mental actions? You can think. Right. Uh, t- try not to die. I might be back. <laughs> To the creature? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whose team are you on? <laughs> Excellent. Uh, as you float up, you would notice Azareth just <laughs> hit the water and begin to sink with Sir oh, Alpin. Sh- well, well uh, <laughs> not much I can do now. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Azareth, uh, you're going to go at the end of the round. You're going you're gonna to take over. Uh, you're going to go at the end of the round. So it's now your turn as you hit the water <laughs> and begin to sink. Uh, Agnar, you see this. Uh, Azareth, oh, what would you like dear. to do? Uh, as I hit the water, I'm going to let go of the rope. Excellent. I'm be... <laughs> uh, I just kind of watch where... How how fa- deep does it go? How Sir deep Alpin does it go? Me? So, uh, so Alpin's falling. Um, uh, roll a D100 for me. What, what's Alpin wearing? Is he wearing plate? He's like, wearing like full plate. Yeah. Full plate. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And what's his uh, con modifier, if you'd be so kind? His con modifier is a... Like just the the plus yes uh, plus two plus two he can he can last two rounds without suffocating underwater sixty six sixty six excellent so he seems to be falling above the ship rather than the uh the ravine there 
So good news. But he's dropping down to like 80 feet. He's going he's gonna to drop down to like 80 feet at least. He's trying to swim, but he's kind of coming up at about 15 feet and then dropping at a faster rate. He is in full plate. Like he's no, no good news there. <laughs> as as dead. Is looking in the water. He, he lifts his head out. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this for him. Uh, and I'm going to <laughs> polymorph into, uh, into a killer whale. Yeah! <laughs> As you turn into an Azeroth whale, you hear, <laughs> and I'll dive down. Excellent. And try and <laughs> pick him up. Yeah. Uh, what's your strength as a killer whale? It's a giant whale. Okay. Oh, no. Killer whale. Killer, killer whale. whale. Yeah. Uh, strength is Ooh. plus four. Excellent. Okay. So you're, you're going to have to make a quick st- strength check, uh, athletics check to pick him up as a whale. Uh, 19. I'll say a 19. You can, you can easily kind of get your teeth around him and kind of lift him. He's pretty heavy. Um, as you kind of sink your teeth around him, sort of flap my tail. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so you're gonna you're gonna be right down bottom there with all the other creatures at this turn. That's your turn. That's your movement. Yeah. That's your action. Yeah, yeah, you're down there. Excellent. That brings us back around top of the round. Uh, Agnar, anything you want to do? As Azeroth jumps over the edge, you see a fart cloud emerge from the top of the wall. Agnar there. probably would have seen. Yeah, come yeah. Out yeah. And cast the spell. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> um. Um. Uh. uh d- 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 does anybody have like a piece of a cork or something? Like um. Uh, like from a bottle. Uh, looking around, it looks like possibly Cotton Eye Joe's legs made a cork. <laughs> Cotton Eye Joe. His peg leg. <laughs> can I have? Can I have some of that? Of my leg. <laughs> I'll find you another one. Uh, Cotton Eye Joe starts to like back up, hop, hop away. <laughs> Give me a persuasion roll, please. <laughs> Not twenty. <laughs> Not 20. <laughs> I promise I'll give you another one. Bird it, to bird, it's to bird, to bird. It's to save someone's life. Can't not, Joe. You see him, like, put his beak down and, like, pull out the cork and he, like, flings it your way. Thank you, thank you. And I'm going to rush to the edge of the thing mm-hmm. and basically hold... Water walk. Water walk. Excellent. For when I see Elpen. Excellent. Okay. As soon as he gets within range. Excellent. Beautiful. Which is 60 feet? 30 yeah. feet. 30 feet. 30. 30 feet. Beautiful. Excellent. Good stuff. That brings us to the top of the round. With Edorath, this creature is looking nasty. Uh, it's seen a couple of you drop into the water. Um, at, at this point, it kind of looks at you uh, with those swipes and it says, Give it back. I don't even know what you're fucking talking about. <laughs> oh, in that case, I must be mistaken. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to take a uh, legendary action and whip out at you uh, after Agnar's turn. <laughs> Uh, that is a dirty, t- another dirty 20 to hit you. Doing me dirty. Doing you dirty. Excellent. Also, uh, as a nice whips. repartee, these two. <laughs> <laughs> Duel of the tongues. Duel of wits. <laughs> Have you considered going on stage and working together? Uh, that is going to be a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 points of damage as it whips at you with its tail. Ha <laughs> I, I am just as tricksy. <laughs> <laughs> 21. Hits. Uh, 12. Uh, misses. Dear 15. Uh, misses. Mm-hmm. The first level smite. First level smite. Smite. Ooh, baby. Uh, that would be 13 points of piercing. Th- 13 points of piercing. Excellent. And, and 11 sp- points of radiance. And 11 points of radiance. Yeah, you jab into it. Ah, fucker. Anything else you want to do? I just stare at him. It's staring at you. Uh, excellent. Uh, okay, that's going to bring us down to our good friend, uh, little nasty dudes. They're all going to swarm towards the big whale that kind of showed up down here. Uh, as they kind of swim towards you at 40 feet of swim speed, you are going to get uh, two attacks on you, two attacks on Alpen. Uh, the two attacks okay, on you, uh, whale- 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 Whaleareth. Uh, one is a nat one. As that creature swipes at you, you swish your tail out and just batter it and it goes down into the uh, the ravine there. The other is going to be uh, a hit with a 23 to hit you. Yes, that hits. Excellent. Uh, and you are going to take uh, four, six, seven, eight, nine points of piercing damage as it tries to bite into you. The other two hitting uh, Sir Alpen. Uh, one is going. They're both going to be 16s to hit Sir Alpen. That is negative. On no both. hits on Sir Alpen. No. Beautiful. 18. Excellent. As they try to hit him, uh, he's got about a round of breath left in him, and then he's fucked. 
Uh, that's got about a round of breath. Got about a round of breath in him, and he's fucked. Cat's fucked after that. Uh, that's going to bring us down to the creature. The creature is going to look at you, uh, Edorath. <laughs> I got to drop for that. Nice. Uh, that is going to be a wisdom saving throw for you, please. <laughs> 18. 18, beautiful. Failing that, it kind of looks at you and hisses and says, Your friend will be back. And it is going to dart away from you. Reaction. Go for it. 18 will hit. Go ahead and give me some damage. Don't put smile on it. Don't put a smile on it. Smile on it. Smile on it. Put a smile on it. Smile that motherfucker. That will be 10 points piercing. Nice. And 14 points of radiance. Tell me, how, tell me how you handle this creature. Uh, sort of Ooh. as he looks away and starts swimming away, I bring my rapier down and sort of hit him right love. between the eyes. Yeah. And as he runs away, I split him in two down. Oh, yeah. I just split him in two. He, the momentum takes him and he just kind of starts to drift down towards the abyss there. As he's drifting towards the abyss, you immediately see uh, a whale or uh, as a whale. Um, you immediately see, comma, as a whale, you... The creatures attacking you immediately just kind of start looking around lazily, looking up in the in the at, at the water, uh, looking down towards the trench, and just kind of just move away from you, like they've um they've got no purpose. Any bat them all in the trench. Yeah, just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excellent. As you bat them all in the trench, there, uh, Edorath holding all the cash, all the all the all the business. Uh, you see Azor 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 Whale kind of bringing Sir Alpen up there. Uh, as you breach the surface, Agnar, you see Sir Alpin in the mouth of the whale. Uh, you see Edorath there kind of dolphin kick up, the uh, fart cloud drifting towards the, uh, <laughs> towards the ship there. <laughs> what, a, what a fucking wacky return. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, as soon as, as soon as I could see him like within 30 feet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you cast um, water walk on him. Oh yeah, I, I, anybody else like to um? It's what walk on water? That's a ge- general question to the crew. Cotton Eye Joe. Cotton Eye Joe, like a leg, please. <laughs> <laughs> a gold one. Cotton Eye Joe. That's interest. Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> but no one else responded. All right, it's just. I can't. I'm a gas. Just Alpen then. Yeah, no you cast way. water walk on. Alpen. Alpen's kind of bobbing in your head mm-hmm. there, like kind of holding your head up. You're holding onto a floaty there. Yeah. Like, I think I've got it from here. So. It feels like if it feels like that, I'll yeah. go. You kind of get up and stand up on the water, hands on hips. <laughs> See, I can swim, <laughs> and I'll uh, just go under him with my tail and fling my tail so that I can launch him into the ship. <laughs> oh my god! They make a dexterity check for me as a whale. Ah, uh, just uh, eleven. <laughs> <laughs> he goes ah over the other side. <laughs> 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 hits the ground there. Uh, he's just going to take a tidy uh, three, six, nine points of bludgeoning damage Aww. as he lands on the other side of the water, <laughs> kind of tumbles and lifts himself, dusts the water off and walks to the other side and climbs back up. It's at this point that uh, Edorath, you can climb back on board. What would you guys like to do? Loot in hand, uh, fart cloud <laughs> on approach. That was awesome. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, I see you've got them. Um... Right? I got loot. I got in a fight, and I fucking kicked his ass. <laughs> oh, um, best well. day ever! I'll Captain, drop. it looks like we need to be opening the booty hole. <laughs> the booty hole's always open. Just need an invite. <laughs> I'll drop my polymorph and climb back onto the ship. Excellent. Did you climb aboard the ship. Best day ever. <laughs> As you stand there, Edorath. You guys see him going very, very pale. Oh. And as he starts to get very, very pale, your skin has this odd sleekness to it. This odd um, translucent and slimy quality to it. Uh, you start to feel the sting of the sunshine. <laughs> oh, it's fucking bright. You know, I'm just going to go for a quick dip. Wash this no, off. No, uh, I, wait. Uh, oh, okay. uh, well, two things. You don't look well, and also, where's force? Fart cloud. <laughs> a fog cloud? What? Fart cloud. What? Give it a sec. Give it a sec. Gas starts to kind of drift over. <laughs> okay, we'll deal with that I know, later. I, I saw him drink something. I'm going to I'm gonna go up. No, we've yeah, got to have a up all the way potion. Up the top there towards oh, Sorensen. I'm just keep going up. 
Okay. Up there he goes. I can travel 20 feet every six seconds. 20 feet every six seconds for <laughs> an hour? <laughs> nope. I'm going to go uh, until I see them start to set the sails to start moving again. What's the highest right. you're willing to go? <laughs> How much damage are you willing to take? Because <laughs> uh, at the moment, they're waiting for anyone to tell them to, that they're yeah, just yeah. waiting for the report. Yeah, I'll just, just keep going up until the, I see the sails start to unfurl. Every six seconds? Okay, cool. 20 feet every six seconds. Oh, yeah. my God. Gotcha. Cool. <laughs> oh, my God. I got I got into a fight with an eel. He ripped up my bodice. Uh, right. Yes, I can see that. It's quite it's quite open. I can see a lot of... Um, anyway, um, right. Don't go jumping in the water. Just let me... Um, God, it's fucking bright. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, hang on. God. Hang on. Just, just let me hear. Uh, and oh, I'm just clammy. going to put hands yeah. on his shoulders mm-hmm. and... Um, just say, um, Brigantia, yes, um, help, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm uh, going to cast Lester. Lester? Fuck. Lester. <laughs> Stay alive. My ah. name is Lester <laughs> Restoration. Lester, Lester. Lester Restoration. Excellent. Oh, As you cast Lesser Restoration on him, still seems translucent, <laughs> still seems slimy. I don't know if you've ever seen the, um, the uh, the first X Men movie when the senator comes oh, out of the water and he turns yeah. to that blobby translucent kind of thing that's what's happening to Edorath right now. Okay. Oh what happened? What, oh, that's what was not it? Looking good. Um, um, right. An eel. An eel. An eel. An eel with tentacles that tried to talk in my brain and talked about the old gods. I killed it. The- you look like you got a fair bit of loot there, though. Yeah. Yeah. Old gods. Okay. okay. <laughs> Best day mm. ever. You're right. Hi. Hey. Oh god, it is fucking bright. Can right, I, right. Okay. Um, either, can, either can I go for a dip or go fucking downstairs or something? Because fuck, it's bright. Okay, yes, well, let's go downstairs. Um, and I don't like that you keep ticking off things. It's not. <laughs> it's not for you. It's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm ticking things off for you though. Um, I do have a. There's a TikTok. multiple ticks. There's multiple. There's multiple TikToks happening. <laughs> How can, can I do like a reach terminal velocity when you come back? Oh. Five hundred feet. <laughs> can I do it like a medicine check or a, or something check? Uh, re the the eel <laughs> possible. You didn't see the eel, so you can no, make a medicine did, check on him. You just described an eel that would be a uh, with tentacles. Oh, you can see right. Look over that the edge. Be a, that would be a nature check. Yeah. Okay. Nature yeah. check. So there's. So you need to do a medicine check on him corpse. or a nature check on the creature. Where's the other half? Um. Oh, there it is. A med- medicine <laughs> check on him, because I know now it wasn't poisoned. He wasn't poisoned because that didn't work. So Medicine check on him? A, a medicine check on him. Excellent. Give me a medicine check. Someone fat get in my... That's <laughs> 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 so stupid. Fuck <laughs> uh, future, I uh, was great. That is a... Shit is what you're going to do. Two for an eight. Two for an eight. Uh, as far as you can tell, it, it must be some sort of disease. You got no idea what's going on there. Okay, I don't know. What... All right, let's downstairs. Do I have any concept of time in my gaseous form? <laughs> I mean, uh, you, you stated retain, very clearly. Like, you, you, <laughs> you retain your you retain your intelligence. You're cool. currently uh, almost two hundred feet in the air. Yeah, after ten minutes, it would be two thousand feet in the air. Yes. Yeah. Okay. How long does that last? Do I ha- can I an hour? Can I make perception checks at all? I guess so. Yeah. 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 Once you're two minutes in, you two. tell cool. me. You know, you said ten minutes in, you'll be at two thousand feet. Yeah, I'll make a perception check around there. at two thousand feet. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Go fucking splat. <laughs> <laughs> Water's what was your concrete message? at yeah. that level. Can you, you can go down though. Like, yeah. if, okay, cool. <laughs> Doesn't just raise. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, t- I take him down there, not knowing what it is. You take him below deck. Yeah. I'll stay okay. on deck. Keep an eye out. On the okay. Stats. So at this point, a couple of things happen. Force would hit after ten minutes. Force would hit. Um, the roof hit with yeah <laughs> hit the top of the dome at your <laughs> show dome. Yeah. uh Edorath, you you are going to take that's full damage 12 points of acid damage please oh god uh, uh, burning 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 okay, okay, uh, not okay, the fun okay. kind of burning um, uh. oh let's let's try this okay i'm going to touch him and try and cast remove curse uh yeah what level is that that is at the yeah, third level. Yeah, go ahead and burn that spell slot as you attempt to remove curse. What does that look like? Um, 
Again, I'm going to lay my hands on him. I feel sticky. But this time, like on his face. Oh, so sticky. <laughs> I'm oh, so sticky. And and just say, um, okay, Brigantia, banish the, 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 the bad. As you say, Brigantia, banish the bad. The, the light uh, of Brigantia kind of shines in on Edorath. You see it shine banish through him. The bad. Uh, unfortunately, you gather that <laughs> it's not strong enough to undo whatever this is. But was there a indication of like? Doesn't seem like a curse. Seems more like a disease. Water, 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 water. You can fix this. I can't. Can't you lay on hands cure disease? Oh, maybe. (laughs) I'm gonna give myself (laughs) thirty. Give yourself thirty. Give myself thirty. But I just did lesser restoration. And as you try to burn those thirty, yeah, you know, you neither heal nor get rid of the disease. Oh. Ooh. Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> water, dive. Excellent. As you hit the water, <laughs> instant, instant <laughs> niceness. Uh, do you do anything while you're in the water? I'm just gonna sit there for a sec. Okay, excellent, excellent. Uh, you can't regain hit points. Yeah. As far as you can tell, yeah. you've tried in the circumstance you've tried. So so yeah. far, it doesn't feel like you can regain hit points. And as you kind of bop your head back out, you feel that 10 minute timer of things singeing you. Oh, I can't I can live and land only 10 minutes. Force up in the air. Go ahead and make a perception check for me. Uh, uh, flat roll. Check flat. Yeah. Okay. That's a fabulous 10. 10. Okay. Looking around with a 10, you get a beautiful bird's eye view of the area that you're in, the, the, the kind of the strait of water that's between Neodract and Fiana. Uh, looking down towards Fiana, you see uh, uh, the, the coastline there. It seems to be rather rugged, kind of jungly with, with, a, with a beach, uh, but a jungly kind of forest line. Indeed, most of um, that top edge of Fiona seems like it. Uh, it's a, kind of a warmer climate. You can see the edge of the, the lake, the great lake that kind of pushes in towards uh, the, the, the centerpiece um, and the edge of the lake where uh, Lorna, Kath, Lorna Kath is. Uh, you can see the edge of the howling ring you recognize well. You gather that on, with, a good, with a good weather and a good sail, you, you, like a day. You'd be there in a day easily. Um, looking back out towards Neodract, you'd see those ships. They seem to be, uh, a couple of them seem to be beaching themselves. You can see dwarves running off and running in towards the coastline where they're kind of getting slaughtered and cut down by uh, uh, elves that seem to have incredible kind of swordsmanship, a couple of arcane blasts. You can see that uh, a couple of the ships are heading back around to the side, uh, to the uh, eastern side of Neodract, as if to get away with it. No one seems to be heading towards the uh, the inner kind of Shadowlands, that, that little boot there, the Italy boot. Uh, and as you look in on Neodract, you can see the, the rugged kind of terrain that then leads all the way up through the center. You can see the enormous mountain uh mountainside that kind of lines the top of severe and neodract that large river that you gather that at one point your ship was cascading down the river that kind of runs down neodract crosses the border into severe and then down towards the the water there uh it is a beautiful view the weather is fine um from here yeah a day's sail you don't see any other ships on the water on this northern edge of fiona uh, from here, you could possibly see some down at the uh, the southwestern coast, where you probably would have gone if you had have kept your your path from the bottom of Bok. Uh, at the moment, all seems clear. Oh, I kind of hope for a dragon to be honest. And- <laughs> Roll a D one hundred for me. <laughs> That's just what I was thinking. In my brain. A forty two. Yeah, no dragon. The answer to life. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, no dragon. Uh, all right, then I'm gonna make my way down back to the boat. Excellent. And then I'm going to through the cracks in the boat and see if I can find Cordina. So it's going to take uh, 10 minutes to get back to down. Get back down. Yeah. At this point, what do you guys want to do? Edorath is kind of just staying in the water, paddling around. Um, what are you doing? Well, he's, he's, he's the burning. sunlight burns. What the and fuck it's not. Is... It, 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 it seems like and it, it ripped is, my bodice. But I tried. <laughs> I, I tried the, the the healing and the, I tried the the not the curse. Um, My healing didn't work either. Oh, um, uh, maybe did you uh, you you got you got loot right? Yeah. Did, are you holding any of it? All of it. Well, maybe maybe don't hold it. Could you put it back? Like put it on the ship for a moment and don't touch it. Okay, I'll put everything. If you get you get out of the water. Yeah, you start to feel that sizzle yeah. once again. Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> yeah, it's like stepping on a hot beach. Bag, book, bottle, coin, stay with me. Dive. No, everything. Okay. Dive everything. back in. <laughs> you dive back in the water. Ah, uh, yeah, still, still, it soothes. It's very soothing. It was everything oh. you took, yep. except for the coin. Except for the coin. But you don't know that. It's true. What are you doing? Okay, okay. Do you feel better? Oh, the water feels so nice. <laughs> Okay, but try coming out of the water again. Oh, no. Okay, 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 I don't know. Let's try this one. Um, oh, this is a new one for me. What? Yes, okay. You can stay there, though. Um, just sort I'm, of floating. Just, yeah. just yeah, underneath. Yeah, so yeah. It's like maybe yeah, about like on, an inch. Under. It doesn't matter. You're just in the like water. An inch. And yeah. try dispel magic. Dispel magic, yeah. <laughs> you pump a dispel magic at him. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> what have you got this magic? My arm. <laughs> Oh yeah. That's letting me breathe. Um I choose one. Oh, okay. One. Okay. Man, like I'm choosing the fucking okay. whatever yeah. it is. You, you pump you <laughs> pump a dispel magic, magic at him. Uh it doesn't seem to have any effect. You okay. can burn off that spell slot as well. Cool. Um, and the cu- remove curse one if it was an object uh breaks uh, the Yes. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, cool. I don't, uh, yeah. You see that gash on his chest where the bodice was ripped and as he's in the water it seems to be Less angry, less red. Well, he looks happy there. What do you say? We just. <sighs> but, I mean, he can't stay there. <laughs> 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 the only time that song it's acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we could get like um, a sort of a, th- a thing to put water in, and he could <laughs> like stay a, like a t- like a fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> put him in a fish tank. <laughs> I Danielle, don't know your characters offer the most re- <laughs> wild <laughs> suggestions in games. I love it's, it. It's a smart, stupid idea. I love it. It's a smart, stupid idea. <laughs> well, does it let, does it kill him or is it just uncomfortable? Does it kill you? Know. Is it killing you He's or is it just uncomfortable? Very badly injured. It felt like if I was out of water for maybe like another 10 minutes or so, I might drop dead. 20 minutes. Feels like it might have been like that 17 hit points. Yeah. Two. Two more rolls of that dice and you're dead. Okay. Yeah. I what, maybe like 15, 20 minutes I could last, but like it'd be really uncomfortable. In the water, everything feels better. Oh, God, this feels fucking great. See, he's, he's okay in, in the water, but he can't he <laughs> stay there because we have to go. We can tow him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but what if he gets eaten by one of those shark things? Well, honestly, Again. The, then we have eaten by one of those shark things <laughs> again. Exactly. Well, do, I don't know. I think he, he made his bed. <laughs> do, right, do, fuck you. <laughs> you are ble- fuck you, you, new guy. You are bleeding in the water right now. I'm always bleeding in the water. <laughs> Blood, <laughs> water. That's sort of my whole thing. Blood is thicker than water. It'll sink. Oh, thank you, Sir Alpin. No problem. For that fact. Can um, I jump in and try and fish him out? No. no. Oh. I, well, you could try to jump, but I think you'll, um, you won't be able to go under the water. Yeah, I was hoping that you'd all say yes. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't be able to physically Break jump in. Legs. <laughs> uh, do, do we have, do we, do we have a container, like a barrel or, or a... Right, we have, we have a fair few barrels. We also have dinghies that we can possibly sit on deck or sit them on the side and fill them with water. We'd have to fill both in order to balance the ship <laughs> uh, out. This is okay. ridiculous. That, <laughs> if that's what I, needs I to like... be done, I mean, if he can't be healed uh, on are... the deck or uh, here... But then... I'm trying, but it's not... We'll try harder. We're we don't right want to lose a crew, We're right now a really poor man's version of Pirates of the Caribbean, <laughs> <laughs> where they're walking on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. of water on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> You've tried everything. <laughs> well, I, I, I guess we best get him to shore as quickly as possible. I don't think he can go on shore. Well, for more than like 20 minutes. I'm sure I don't know the solution. I, I'll leave it in your capable hands, adventurers. I know, I'm, I'm Team Barrel. <laughs> Team Barrel, okay. Well, um, well, we just lower one of the dinghies, fill it with water, and then pull it up. Wh- I feel like wh- dinghies won't point. Just throw a fucking barrel there. Where did the... Um- the the fart the the clouds. I don't know. I lost track of force. It was it's very hard point. to keep track of this mist in the air. It's at this point, force, you would be drifting through the ship. Give me a perception check to find Quadina. Disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, disadvantage. She hiding from them. But when she's not eight around, okay. Uh, eight. <laughs> I swear I'm not doing this to you on purpose. Uh, it's a natural Aww. twenty. Of course it uh, is. You can't find her. Are you doing anything? 
to try and coax her out or anything in particular? No, I'm, I, I can't. I'm a gas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like going through like level by level through all the snooping. cracks in the boat. Just being like, a peeper. Yeah, around. I mean, if you're going through all the cracks in the boat, you would go down into the very, very bottom hold, mm-hmm. like where it, it, there's, there's, you know, less than five foot of crawl space. Um, where the black powder is cal- held in a copper um, uh, to, to prevent sparks or anything, like a copper right. uh, box, uh, different supplies and things. And as you crawl under, you would, as you drift under, you would notice that kind of right up under the bow, head up against the bow, right under the bottom there with barely any headroom above her, Cordina is just sitting there, uh, just lying there, eyes closed. Like, oh. she's, like she's asleep. You haven't seen her sleep in a while. I'm just going to be a gas cloud there. Cool. Excellent. <laughs> gas cloud there. Excellent. Uh, yeah, she seems full on just asleep. I guess I can't search her or anything. Um, can you not drop it? or you have, you I can it? drop it. Uh, but once it's dropped, it's dropped. Yeah. You got to get wind walk. That's a fun one. Yeah. That's like gaseous form, but 500 miles a minute or something. Oh, that's wild. You can just like... Pfft. Takes a minute to come in and out of it. So you're right. vulnerable in that time, but stays uh, for eight hours. You can travel around the whole fucking continent uh yeah anything you'd like to do then i'll get bored after a while to, to hold true to that nat 20 and then i'll go up and then just like eavesdrop on crew by crew by crew just to see if i can hear anyone say anything if they were part of the the raid or if they're planning something naughty or if they got some secrets okay okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh roll me one more perception check <laughs> Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. That's 119, and then a 12, 12 plus 5, 17. 17 is pretty good. Uh, as you drift around, um, you would you would notice Aureus and, and Agnar and those kind of fussing over Edorath, uh, Fibbers behind the wheel, um, Elric not too far away. Uh, you'd see uh, Milsa down by the cannons. Um, you would see, what's her name? The, 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 Liana there uh, on deck uh, helping kind of rig the sails and things. Sorensen up in the crow's nest. After a while, the captain moves away from um, moves away from these three mm-hmm. uh, and kind of relieves Fibbers. Says, right, Fibbers, take your leave. I've got this. I got mm. Take Cotton Eye Joe with you. Cotton Eye Joe still holds a leg. Cotton Eye Joe. Well, you stick around until you get your leg. That's no problem. Captain, I have no leg. I see that, Cotton Eye Joe. I'm, I'm I don't ask for a lot. I didn't Very take little, your, actually. I didn't take And now leg. one of the passengers is taking my leg. You, you <laughs> gave up your leg yourself, right, in order to help out. You've saved a man's life, that man. Cotton Eye Joe, he looks out for himself. <laughs> <laughs> one time now and no one cares. <laughs> we can get you another leg, but why don't you just ask for your leg back? I did. It's she not, ignored me. It's not consumed. Does the spell... Does the spell no, it's not okay. consumed. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Agnar. Uh, um, y- yes. Would you mind returning Cotton Eye Joe's leg? He oh. seems quite upset. Oh, right, of course. Are you yes. folding your wings? <laughs> Cotton Eye Joe! <laughs> well, here you go. I, I, we, we were just dealing with the, um, the, the, kinda... the poison situation. Well, disease slash... I don't know. Here you go. Cotton Eye Joe. And he flies over and he grabs it with his beak and you see him kind of... <laughs> back in and he, he like tests it out and he goes... Oh yeah, that feels good. That feels real good. Okay, thanks, Agnar. Cotton Eye Joe! I, I kind of want to see a conversation between him and Edorath. And Edorath just grunting and him saying, <laughs> I'm getting some serious Iago vibes with the wind crossing, wings crossing. <laughs> As it happens, uh, Oris would take the wheel. Auric would come on over. Auric would just say, The strangers have put us in rather a lot of peril. Too right, too right. But getting paid well. We'll take them where they gotta go, and then uh, wash our hands of this. Maybe travel south for a while, get away from this place. I don't like the increased military presence here. Roger, well, Captain. Are we to drop them at Fiona as directed? Yes, yes, yes. yes Fiona as directed. Until you hear. Oh, I'll, I'll drop. I'll drop the spell from behind him. What the fuck? Oh, right. You're right there, Force? We thought you went under for a while there. Uh, no. No, I was just checking things out. Oh, good for you. Your friend seems to be burning up whenever he gets out of the water there. Like a jellyfish, a jelly man. 
He's a jelly man. <laughs> I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. <laughs> Trying to figure out what exactly to do. We can't leave him behind. All right, it's good to hear, Captain. Right. Right. To Fiona, then. To Fiona, yes. Good choice. Glad you made the choice. Glad it was ours to make. Very good. And then I'll walk on over to uh, Agnard and be like, so what's going on? Oh, good, you're back. Good, good. Um, He's... Was it? Was it yours to make? <laughs> at, at, he's having a problem. We, we can't quite figure it out. How are you feeling with the sun? Is it affecting you in oh, any way? Oh, yes. Are you okay? Well, I think I'm getting quite a nice tan, to be honest. You know, what What do you think? It's a nice darker shade of blue there. Yes. Thank you. Uh, uh, nice. Why? What's going on? I don't think I can feel my bones anymore. <laughs> can you ever feel your bones? Uh, weirdly enough, now that I know they're not there. What were you... What do you mean not? That he, he has no bones. He said something about an eel down there. The, there was, was an fighting. eel and he, he got it... He's trying to mind control them. Well, uh, and now it burns when he's not in the water. Uh, all right. Uh, stick your arm out of water. Is it got bones? Uh, it is translucent. But so you can see bones. You can see through. Yeah. Oh, oh he's that. You can see he's got bones. But it's like a jellyfish. It's well, like I didn't see bones. Uh, all right. So there was something down there that I was having quite a nice conversation with, to be honest. And then he came in and started stabbing, stabbing. Because, well, that got a bit of a tough soul because he was taking stuff. What? Uh, oh, what'd you take from underneath there? Agno has it. Oh, wait, where's his, where's his loot? No, no, don't. Don't let him touch it. Don't, it's mine. I'm not going to. I'm out. You got to get up here. And get. <laughs> don't oh, touch it. I'm not going to. We, well, usually when, with things in the wild, yes, whatever causes out. you disease. I will the, go to a barrel. The medicine is nearby. Yeah. Right. So Edereth. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, go. Maybe look, but don't touch it. Edereth is climbing out of the water, uh, climbing oh, up the side. Burning, there. burning, burning, burning. I find an empty barrel, mm-hmm. hop in it, yeah. use my last first level spell slot to create water. Excellent. And <laughs> you fill yourself up in this barrel. You're just sitting in a barrel on the deck. <laughs> right. Like it's your Can own Nigel little flies over and sits in your head. <laughs> piss off. Come on, Joe. Good night, Joe. Good night, Joe. Good night, Joe. Piss off, bud. Good night, Joe. So what feels better? Salt water or fresh water? As long as there's water, it feels good. No, water's water, mate. Do you think urine would work? If you want to keep your dick, <laughs> I would suggest not. I don't have what I got cloaca. If you want to fucking keep it, keep it away from me. <sighs> you know, just an emergency situation. You know we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Well, I just realized the cloaca to, to genitalia ratio here is actually quite balanced between you, <laughs> Cotton Eye, <laughs> and Agnar. It's important it's- to have that. Yeah, mm-hmm. all we need to kinko and we're, you know, tip the scales. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, kobolds have cloakers. Anyway. I'm going to look to see what all this gear is that he brought up. Yeah. What do you want me to make? some as well. Ah, uh, you just make an investigation check. Someone else want to help me? Because I, uh... I can, I can figure out what exactly they are. Great. I rolled a, I rolled a nat 20 and a 6. Um, oh. So, 7. 7. Yeah, I mean, there's a, a little uh, amulet that looks to be, like, in the shape of a bottle. There's a, a bag... I fucking know any of this shit is. ...that looks completely sealed. There's uh, pages of a... Uh, there's a little diary there, and there a are quick look some at the goggles. Diary. You've got a rod somewhere in you. <laughs> In your shower. Uh, in your shower. <laughs> Some uh, magical people come fucking over here. What's this? And I'll hold up that odd and pick up the amulet. Anyone know what this is as well? Oh, give it, give it all to me so I can. I, I mean, I, the Wait, bottle. Focus on it. Right. Amulet with bottle on it. It's, it's like a bottle, bottle on, on a chain. it, or it looks like actually is. It's an amulet. That's the shape of a bottle. It's an amulet in the shape of a bottle. Does it, what he said. Yeah, I'm amulet gonna go look at it to see if it's like. In the shape of a bottle, but also like, is a bottle. It's an amulet in the shape of a bottle. Where I am, it's <laughs> like it's an amulet in the shape of a bottle. It smells a little bit like uh, like stained uh, ale stained wood. Oh, love that smell. Okay, okay. Cool. Between the two of you, but basically, I was checking whether it was hollow. The two of you is, bang your heads together and try and work this shit out for us. Well, uh, I mean, we have been. Um, 
Just g- give me a minute with it, and I, I can figure out exactly oh, okay. what this thing will do. <laughs> and in the meantime, I'm gonna go up to you, oh. and I'm like, <laughs> "Return of Have you tried this? And just like lay on hands and try and heal him for ten. I tried it early, and it you didn't work. Heal for ten points. Oh, oh. oh you fucking son! Are you bitch. fucking kidding me? You've been you around here for about an hour, <laughs> and you couldn't even fucking do that to yourself. To be fair, I did it up here, and it didn't work. <laughs> Maybe it's when you're outside of water it doesn't work. Yeah, I'm starting to think that's what it is. All right, now finish healing yourself. I think I'm out of, I, I well, fucking used it. Uh, right. uh, well, should we, should what we else try did you try outside ones? of water? Um, uh, oh, oh, I tried to get rid of the, the if it was like I a disease or a, a poison. Let's try that again then. If, 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 okay. Uh, and I'm going to cast the lesser restoration again. Nothing seems oh. to happen. Well, um, it was it was worth a try, but we can heal you. So let's let's get you feeling good at least. And I'm gonna look at you. Cast <laughs> arms on the side <laughs> of the barrel, <laughs> <laughs> looking translucent, <laughs> chilling. It's your shame. No, no bounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that Azareth would rather leave him there <laughs> than him look ridiculous in a barrel. <laughs> Azareth. All I'm gonna say is boiled jellyfish is actually quite a delicacy to turtles. Uh, nope. Cure wounds. I don't know what else is a you fucking delicacy. <laughs> Total soup. Yeah, but I'm not the one in a heating vat of water for the next two days. Cure wounds on you from Agnar as you're in the water there at fourth level in the D8 there. Six is 28. 28 points of healing. All of it goes straight to you. Uh, I'm going to identify the, the magical objects. <laughs> I'm going to take my pearl out. <laughs> I've been waiting <laughs> for I'm this. Give it a nice little look. <laughs> that was my favorite moment in a long time. Was that was the pearl? Uh, and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna identify whatever uh, the rod, the amulet. Uh, was there something else? Uh, yeah. How many times you cast this? Just, just over and over and over. Yeah, for whichever, however, items we have. One, two, three, four. What's the fourth? The rod, the goggles, the bag, and the amulet. I mean, yeah, I'll do. Uh, and the diary. The diary. Well. I'm it's not, just a diary. I'm probably not gonna. Yeah, I took a quick read of it. Some fucked up shit in there. A- really? Anything. So what are you? Them? What are you? Ca- what are you casting it on first? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I'm <laughs> gonna essentially pile them all together yeah. and just kind of concentrate on the pearl. And <laughs> <laughs> as you bamf into the pearl. Now, pearl. Wait. Hold on. You fucking just shut one up second. Me, you asshole. <laughs> what do you want to know? I'm. S- <laughs> I feel like we got on the off on the wrong foot. Oh, before. fucking say! It was just. It was a very you delicate. It was a very delicate time we were going through. Why did you things. shake me? I. I have no excuse for you, Pearl. I, all I can say is, I'm sorry, and I'd like to restart this dynamic between us. <laughs> all right, we'll see how we go. Promise I won't skip your beautiful descriptions. <laughs> what do we got here, Pearl? Pearly. My old Pearl. The first one is an amulet of the drunken. Amulet of the drunken? While you're wearing it, you can regain 4d4 plus 4 hit points when you drink a pint of beer, ale, mead, or wine. Once the amulet has restored hit points, it cannot do so again until the next dawn. Drunken was the pronunciation. Amulet right? of the drunkard. Do you not Drunk fucking it? listen to me? Drunkard. <laughs> Drunkard. Amulet of the drunkard. Yeah, okay, we got My it. My goodness, man. It's okay, get it out. <laughs> get what? What you? I'm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what about this over here? The bag? Yeah. Oh, this is a fun one. Don't get your fingers snapped off with this bad boy. This is a bag of devouring. There is an extra dimensional creature inside here. You can place things in here and they are devoured. Where do they go? Uh, They get eaten by an extra dimensional creature. God, I hope you step in there. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, I can put you in there, mate. Oh, you would? You'd put your only pearl in there and then not be able to cast identify again? We're in the ocean, mate. There's plenty of pearls. I can get Adorat over here to... Fetch one if you want. Do it. <laughs> you could be replaced like that. Don't do you it. forget it. Do it. <laughs> you fucking want do me it. to do it, don't you? <laughs> Bag of devouring. Look it up, you fucking. <laughs> what else am I looking at? Uh, the rod. The Excellent. rod. This is an immovable rod. You press that button and it will lodge itself in place. There's a flat button on one end of it. Uh, if you use an action to press the butt- button again, it will not move, even defying gravity. I'm starting to get weird in the brain here after shaking me here. Uh, it can r- hold up to 8,000 pounds of weight. Oh. More weight will cause it to fall. It is a strength DC 30 check to move the fixed rod up to 10 feet. Oh. 
Well, I'm sorry. Is that not impressive enough? <laughs> no, you just lost me with the numbers. Now there. the goggles. Uh, what about these uh, these goggles here? Are you? How long are you spending doing this? Are uh, you burning spell slots on me, or are you yeah, taking time? No, I'm burning the spell slots. Wow, <laughs> interesting. I hope you don't encounter anything soon. God, I hope you encounter something soon. <laughs> these are goggles of night. Uh, while wearing these lenses, you have dark vision out to 60 feet. If you already have dark vision, it increases it by 60 feet. For those people that cannot see in the dark, throw these goggles on. You can see where you're going. Well, I would say it was a pleasure, Pearl, but I think we still got some things to work out. So uh, see you next time. Take it easy. <laughs> I'll, <bounce> out. <laughs> and I'll take it, the Pearl, look at it, and want to shake it, but I'll tenderly place it in my pocket nice all right we've got all this i'm gonna have the drunkard bag of dav- devouring a movable rod and goggles of night vision Ooh. don't put your hands in the bag uh, why it destroys anything it eats oh right the head of some dick that needs to be dead <laughs> jeez that's not very nice never said it was Edoras, why do you seem like you're in your element here <laughs> Like you're more comfortable dying of burns sitting in a barrel than you are kind of moving around. I don't know. It's weirdly therapeutic. All right. Well, if there's nothing else to be done, we can continue on. Uh, Nothing else down there to check out? I'm not going down there. Would I have seen... Would I be able to make like a a medicine, I guess medicine or nature check? Um for any kind of like my training in poisons and stuff to know. Yeah. Yeah. You can go ahead and make a, a medicine or a, I'll make a uh, medicine. Yeah. Make a medicine check for me. Ooh, a 13 and a 15. So 13 plus two, 15. With a 15, whatever this creature, whatever was on this creature's tentacles when it hit Edorath has infected him somehow. Um, it does look like if he's out of water at all, he's going to start to burn over 10 minutes. Uh, while he's in water, he can receive healing. But in order to remove this, there seems to be higher magics at play here. There's something much more intense at play. You gather that a higher level something may work, like a, a higher level spell, a higher level healing, something along those lines. I'm going to flip the coin. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting there in the barrel going, I can't run. <laughs> I don't get me like a fucking zoot suit and just fill it up with water. <laughs> we were talking about a milk suit there recently. Was that a, was that in what? one of these sessions? A milk suit? What was I talking coin. about? A, mi- a milk suit. So you are going to flip the coin. A uh, coin of destiny. As you, as you flip the coin, um, what are you kind of, what are you, what are you, what are you asking? What are you doing? Or are you just flipping the coin for the fun of it? I'm just flipping the coin to fuck with him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'll probably, uh, Internally, ask. Um, internally, I'll ask, do I trust Callian? But I'll flick this in front of after doing like a medicine check on him. Okay. Uh, so heads is good, tails is bad. So yeah. heads is good, skull yeah. is bad. Yeah. Excellent. Go ahead and flip that coin for me. And I got a heads. Mm. Heads. Excellent. Mm. Um, and with that, I'm just going to. As I look at the coin on my hand, I'm just going to look at uh, uh, Edorath and then just cast s- 10 points of lay on hands on myself <laughs> and then walk away smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a d100 for me. Piece of oh, shit. Fuck. Um, Piece of shit. Garbage turtle. <laughs> 97. Garbage turtle. Oh, I rolled my hit points. 97. Mm-hmm. 97. Okay. Uh, as you flip the coin, <laughs> lands on your hand, heads up for the third time. You feel this, the, the, the coin, like silver pours out of the coin. No one else sees this, but silver pours out of the coin and seems to coat you, uh, almost like Metal Mario. And there's like a king. Uh, go ahead. Uh, I will bump your AC by one. Oh, for the time being. And you gather that you could f- keep flicking this coin and things will keep happening. <sighs> Uh, but because of the same time where I added the, I'm going to say this is flavor, where I added in my uh, lay on hands at the same time, I th- I think mentally I imagine it's my fucking God giving it to me. 
It's like, stop giving me your fucking shit. I don't want it. Excellent. <sighs> excellent, excellent, excellent. Pull the uh, book out of Ed Ross book. With that bump. Oh, battery low. Uh, with that bump, uh, as you walk off having healed yourself, that, that bump in your AC there, uh, with um, Captain Aureus kind of swinging the ship around uh, to head towards Fiona, knowing that it's only a day away uh, force. Um, is there anything anyone would like to do before we wrap up for the session? Uh, <laughs> force has done a medicine check. Flipped a coin and then walked off. Yeah, <laughs> healed myself and walked off. So wait, what was the? Did you? Where, where is he going? Well, uh, he's got this thing where, honestly, none of us can tackle it. Maybe one of the higher ups in the city can do it for him, but oh, unless your god's going to give you some extra special power. But at the moment, I think he's shit out of luck. Right. So I think for the next part of our adventure, we get to lose our wrath. But have, have, oh, I, yeah, I, uh, I can still survive on land. You know your boots, are they waterproof? Yeah. Can you fill them with water and just walk in them? I mean, it's, it's, it's mostly a whole body thing that would, like, soothe my feet, but, like... Well, shit, we're, uh, look, we've lost our wrath for the next couple of seconds. Agnar, have you used the most powerful <laughs> spell yes, you've had? I, I have. And mm. it, it didn't, tr- didn't do anything, so I don't... What about Nesh? Oh, um, well, I mean, maybe I, I haven't, I, I haven't talked to Nesh yet. I was going to do that this morning and then people were jumping off ships again and everything got a bit. To be fair, everything got worse once I got back on the ship. <laughs> well, you're okay in, in you the, to jump in the, in the water the thing, to make right? things worse, to get out of the water for <laughs> things to be this bad. You have a weird way of blaming things. You know that? And since getting out of the pearl, Azra seems a little wound up. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Where's this backbone coming from? <laughs> sorry, I'm just. <laughs> yeah. Who the fuck are you to talk to me like that? I'm just saying. The man on dry land, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think you give. I don't give you. I don't think you give the people around you enough credit for you still being here. Oh no! I entirely think that the only reason why I'm alive right now is because of Agnar. Well, you're not behaving that way, because it's the way you act and do these things, it throws everything that Agnar has done for you right back in her face, I think. That's how I feel about it. I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? We we, we don't have to talk about this right now. We don't have to talk about this in front of everyone. We've got nowhere to go. <laughs> I'm like, if we're gonna have a conversation, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> did, did you uh, did you see the tip of the rapier slowly appear <laughs> out of the water? I'll take a step back. Just <laughs> don't throw it. Alpin steps forward. My leash. It's all right. Take him it's down. Right. Um, <laughs> goes back. He knocks the barrel over. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Burn. I mean, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, well, I, you know, I, 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 that's what I'm here for. I'm, I, I am here to to make sure everybody's okay, but, but also, um, you know. I, it it would be better maybe if if we did the rushing into dangerous situations when it's um for something um um important yes i mean not you know uh, you know uh, uh, i slap a bag of 270 gold <laughs> into the deck is that from the and the th- another little bag with 10 platinum in it <laughs> so i thought i said talking? everything from the ship well, okay, it's out now. Nobody touch it. Get like a mop and like I'm move not, it. I, honestly, I don't think it was the items. There was this creature that was talking about going to the water plane, offering me ungodly power. Oh, godly power. What does ungodly mean? I'm getting off topic. Um, it was offering me alternatives to plan and take down the gods. Ooh. On our, on the terms, to be honest, so I don't think it was anything to do with these items. Right, that no, I kind think of... it's to but do with. Thanks for the gold. <laughs> um, I think it has to do with this giant fucking slash in my chest. Right, um, gods taking them down. Right, so mm-hmm. um, somebody else, um, Cordina, 
right has a bit of could could she be um what's the word useful to um she's fucking weird she might know what this is right right and and she, she i mean she said she told me she met the gods right i was telling um i was telling azareth that's right um about that you know she said she met them so maybe she met this you know she might know um so combo, we could go and ask it. Cordina. Yeah. Also, uh, Agna may or may not have pulled what, two cards from Cordina's deck. What are these cards you're talking not about? Not fair. Just saying. Um, just, just Edirat, so Edirat says not fair. As he's saying not fair, he's just kind of uh, flicking and leafing <laughs> through the diary there. Well, should we go downstairs and see Cordina then? Um, sh- yes. Edirat, you're joining. Well, what is that? Not too bad. What do you got there? <laughs> diary. Of? Uh, <laughs> someone named Frankly. <laughs> someone named Samson found it down in the wreck. This is some fucked up shit. No, well, do uh, go on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna sit here in the barrel. I can't, you guys are well, fucking. Don't put wa- the paper in the. <laughs> get it wet. I mean, it was under. It was under. <laughs> <it was underwater. laughs> this is fucking. <laughs> It's like a wax sealed parchment. <laughs> it's magic, okay. It's <laughs> well, anything we should know about, or just some dead <clears throat> sailors? And as Azareth reads out this diary, we will. Azareth, uh, uh, fuck me. As <laughs> Azareth reads out the diary, yeah, as I read it out word for word, you dear. Just- <laughs> As Edarath reads out the diary, we will close out the session with the reading of this. It's a big read. Dear Diary, once again I find myself sailing across the vast ocean, this time to do trade in the golden city of Lana Karth. Something extraordinary has been happening to me, and I feel compelled to document it. It seems that whenever I deny myself rest, an extraordinary surge of energy comes through my veins, enhancing my abilities and skills. It's as if I tap into a wellspring of hidden power pulsating within me, yet Alongside this exhilaration comes a heavy price. Exhaustion seizes hold of my weary body, ensnaring me in its relentless grip. Each day becomes delicate bonds, a tightrope walk between newfound strength and the burden of weariness. How long can I continue down this path, dancing on the edge of my limits? Only time holds the answers. I have also been experiencing vivid visions during my sleepless nights. In my dreams, I see a tower pointing high into the sky. Its presence is awe-inspiring, majestic even. However, the meaning behind these visions eludes me, like a puzzle waiting to be solved. Fuck! The captain is calling me. He has not been a fan of my recent experiment. Until tomorrow, Samson. That's the first one. (laughs) Dear diary. (laughs) I wrote too many. (laughs) Another day unfolds. Shrouded in mystery and potential, the allure of augmented power still beckons me, urging me to push beyond the boundaries of rest. The ship's crew gazes upon me with a mix of admiration and concern, for they witness the extraordinary power that surges within me. My eyes bear the telltale signs of sleepless nights, etched in dark circles that seem to deepen with each passing day. My muscles ache, and my limbs grow heavier. Whispers of caution and concern echo in the air, yet I find it difficult to tear myself away from this path of relentless improvement. Perhaps when I return to Bokt, I will finally be strong enough for the Academy to accept me. In the depths of my being, I can sense a gradual fading of my own humanity. And still the visions persist. The tower, resolute and all-encompassing, appear in my dreams, pointing towards the heavens. Its, its significance eludes me, leaving me with a sense of both wonder and trepidation. How long can I continue to tread the precocious path before I begin losing myself completely? But what does this enigmatic tower represent? These questions linger, urging me to seek answers in the depths of my soul. Until tomorrow, Samson. Dear diary. <laughs> I do not know if I can continue down this path. My body now rebels against me. Each moment is not, is an arduous endeavor. As fatigue renders my limbs weak and unresponsive, I find myself confined to the solitude of my cabin. 
trapped within the boundaries of my own exhaustion. Tremors ripple through my weary form, and an unusual sensation akin to electric buzzing reverberates within me. The gith. She came back to check on me today, and I swear I could see the hairs on her skin stand upright as if it was being made of pure static. In my fatigue, revelations have begun to surface, whispers of truth unfurl before my weary soul. What truth is that I am not entirely certain yet, but something is not right. I feel it within me, within all of us. I will figure it out. Samson. Dear diary. <laughs> the last he doesn't date them. He doesn't put nope. dates. I am reading word for word. <laughs> but he dear diaries every end. <laughs> dear diary. The weight of my choices and the toll they have taken out on me become increasingly difficult to bear. As the ship sails ever closer to our destination, a sense of unease has settled upon the crew. The captain has grown deeply concerned about our upcoming journey through the treacherous howling ring. I can no longer move, and he does not wish to carry me through when we will land. And still, the tower in my visions beckons, its presence hauntingly persistent. Its meaning eludes me, but there is a growing sense of urgency, as if it holds a crucial piece to the puzzle of my existence. I yearn to unravel its secrets, to find solace and guidance within its enigmatic walls. I must find strength. I must continue my experiment. The others don't understand. They can't. They don't know. The gods. They don't know. The gods. They don't know. The gods! And what we would see in this cinematic is a wide shot of a ship on a dark night. A enormous explosion of Arcana (gasps) from the center of it and the ship sinking beneath the waves and that's where we leave our session We go live on all good podcast app every Tuesday at what time? I don't know. Do you oh, know? Um, no. Every time? All the times, 2 a.m., 7 p.m. If you like what you heard, leave us a review on whatever podcast app you're listening to. And if you didn't like it, then? Then turn it off and never listen to it again? No. They could turn it on and listen to it again and find something better about it and they actually like it. That works. Hey, reach out to us on Twitter at mindflayer underscore pod and Instagram at theater of the mindflayer.